In this video, we'll learn how to use an external CSV file to generate an interpolation function inside CFXPre. An interpolation function can be used to specially provide a temperature distribution or velocity distribution or some other parameter distribution on one of the inlets or outlets or any of the boundary conditions. For this example, I have selected the mixing T problem from CFX. In this case, as you can see, initially it has a constant temperature at one of these inlets. What I want to do here is I want to provide a temperature distribution using an interpolation function. In order to do that, we have to generate the Excel sheet using a CSV file format as shown here. As you can see, this Excel sheet will have the information of the spatial node on the inlet and then corresponding to that each special node it will have a particular temperature that will generate the special distribution of temperature on that inlet. Now this Excel sheet needs to be in certain order or certain format as you can see the name of the file should be there then the special field should be defined as XYZ and finally the data should be there. Now I will show you how to import this as an interpolation function inside CFX Pre. Once you go back to CFX Pre we have to go to tools, initialize profile data and then select the file and then click on apply. As you can see once I click on apply you can see that the interpolation function will be generated with the file name that was created and if I click on this you'll see the temperature is the field name here and the field units are in Rankin. Once this is done what I will do is I will go to the inlet Y and then I'll go to boundary details and then instead of having a static temperature of 300 Kelvin I can use the enter expression option here and then use the function that I've just created as inlet y and then I'll use the field name of that function which is the temperature and once that is done I have to provide the special field values as x, y, and z so that it knows that it is a function of x, y, and z. Once that is done, I can click on apply and immediately you will see that the temperature special distribution is shown here. Mm -hmm.